Good evening, peoples. How are we all doing? Thanks for joining me. So we're going to talk about a few watches today. And first one being is um, this one here. Now, this is no way my cup of tea of a, of a watch. But when I wore it today, I absolutely loved it. Let me put it on and I'm going to see what you think as well. It's a negative display. It's quite an unusual one. By the way, this is my watch I'm wearing today. The CS82. Out of all the calculator watches that Casio make, this, let me take it off, is my absolute favourite out of all of them. And I wear this one quite regularly. Let me show you against um, another one, which is their regular one. I think I've got one lying around. Where is it? Oh, hold on a minute. Um, oh, it's here. It's here, it's here. That's the regular one they make now. They're probably the most standard. And that's that one. It's a little bit thinner, but there's something about it that I absolutely love. It could be the white band around the letters. It could be the little blue things here. I don't know, but I absolutely love it. It's my favorite um, out of all Casio watches is this one. Um, out of all calculator watches. Beautiful. Right, let's get back to the video. So I'm going to put this one on here and I'm going to show you the difference it makes when it's on me. And you'll be... I'm going to put it on. So that's what it looks like when it's on. And in the sunlight, all this pops. So you've got the chrome here. And you've got the brushed. It's plastic, but it's brushed, like painted on the sides. But what makes it... unique? really lovely it's this band i absolutely love what they've done here if they had a normal wristband i don't think it would have pushed me to wear it but i love what they've done here very ingenious it, this is called the futuristic let me take it off Let's see it better then oh by the way this is called um i forgot to um, do my usual stuff this is called an a200 it was first released in 1992 and they made a negative display and a normal display. So this here is a normal display, normal LCD. A negative display is the reverse effect. So it's all black and where the letters are is where the screen normally is. Um, I must admit, it is difficult to see. And in this, in this light, it's not very good with the camera either. But what, how you see it now with like this, this is how I see it in normal conditions. So you've got three buttons, one here, one here, and the big one on the bottom says light. And that's what it looks like. Now, let's click on here, alarm, stopwatch. Hold on one second. Jesse, close that door, please. Because my kid's in the background screaming. Um, it's called Eliminator. Yeah, I think it's the straps here that make you look really lovely. If you wanted to get one of these, by the way, these are very, very cheap. You can, I mean, I've seen these for sale on eBay. 20 30 pounds so they're not expensive at all and if you want a retro watch from 30 years ago like in that era um i mean if you look it on the pictures it just looks cheap it doesn't it doesn't do anything for me but as soon as you put it on it really transforms it i think it's the band that does it I love the chrome here as well, what they've done here. It's very ingenious. I love the way Casio designs their watches. It's very smart. Let's have a little zoom in here. It's 
very smart. I mean, they didn't have to put all this chrome on here or here. No way had to do all this finish here, but they did. And that's what makes me love it. Out of choice, I wouldn't have bought this watch because it's not my cup of tea. But as soon as I put it on today, I thought, oh my God, that shoe looks really lovely. I put um, a photo when I was in the sun today. It's a nice watch, isn't it? I mean, I would go as far as saying is one, for that price, you should really have in your collection. It is super duper. Very nice. So, um, we'll leave that one now. Right, next one. Um, let me put this one over here so you can look at it. So this one here, this is super, super rare. I don't think many people know of this watch. And I'll tell you something about it that's really odd. It's probably the only Casio that I know. Um, I'm going to put some gloves on, by the way, because I don't want I don't want to uh, mark it because it is in very good condition, and I've got oily hands. Let me just put some. Oh my goodness! Me. I'll tell you something odd about it. It's probably the only Casio that I know that hasn't got a stopwatch and hasn't got a timer. Do you like my stand? Look at his stands, by the way. So it hooks at the back of the clock, of the, the stay underneath here. And the watch wraps around here and it sits like this. And these are made from Casio. Amazing, isn't it? And the good thing about that is as well, it keeps your straps from snapping because you're in a good position there. You're not stretching it or bending it or putting any strain on the strap itself. And they are new straps, they're not the original. Let me move this over here. But so this here, I bet you you've not heard of it. And to be honest with you, I hardly heard of it either. And I'm gonna have this, um, it's called a DBT-70W and 662 module made in Japan and as you can see it's brand new always been in its box and I'll tell you something as well um, Normally Casio, I mean, I'll say 99.9% .9 are high quality. This is probably the only watch that the buttons here look really cheap. These bu these buttons here, I don't know why. And I've also hardly even heard of this watch. It's a timetable watch. Let me flick through it for you. So you've got a button here, a button here, here, and two front ones. And um, it's a timetable so you can set your trains and the times that it was, it's coming so for example here's a date day and the month and, and on top here will be the train the timetable where it says train you would normally set that as um your train station so if it was um i don't know london houston here will be houston and here we just, by the way, here's the data bank. You put all your names and numbers. And I think you can store up to 50 on here. Um, with the train timetables, I think you can store around 300 and something. So it's quite a lot. So, and if you wanted to look at your train, you see it's got a station here. Oh, you can sort of. So you've got 200, 200, uh, 310 in total. Press the button again. And if you go through here, here will be all the timetables and the platform you need to go on. So if you missed a train, you can just go to the next one. I mean, I should imagine there'd be a lot of setting up to do this, but it sort of does it automatically for you. Um, I did try, I mean, I, I wrote this earlier train and I tried to fit 
all the stuff on there. I find it really complicated, to be honest with you. It wasn't straightforward. And, um, yeah, I mean, you can store 310. I'm sure that's what it said on here. 310. Let me have a look. This is what the manuals look like on these Casios. I don't know if, you, if you're quite familiar with all these. Oh, let's go there, look. Maximum of 310 timetables for up to six stations can be stored. So, and that's what it's like. Yeah, have you ever seen um, an old Casio little booklet? This is basically what it looked like. And, dear customer, congratulations on your purchase. God, we miss all that, don't we? All those um, thank yous and all that. Appreciation for the purchase. Now you don't even get that. Ridiculous. What's that there? T and R. Yeah, and all the ways. And in the middle, after the English or the country you're in, shows this is very generic. How you set, how you put a fit a battery. And you set the AC. And after that, you would just have all the, the other countries. Yeah. yeah, I like I like little booklets. Um, yeah, and also, this is the only Casio. You tell me another Casio, like of this era or digital database, oh, that hasn't got um, a stopwatch or a timer, which makes this watch very unusual. That's the alarm. And because this watch has hardly been used, a great light, beautiful light. Yeah, this ain't the original straps. I had to fit some, um, I mean, they're not even Casio, but they're made to fit a Casio. That's why it's got a data bank on there. They're just um, OEM, which is original. What's it called, OEM? Um, I forgot what OEM stands for. I forgot what it stands for. My God, I'm making myself sound like a Wally today. But um, I like, I like the screen here. I like the the case as well. I just think these buttons just look incredibly cheap, really plasticky, and don't know, not much thought process. Um, and if you look online at these watches, you're gonna find these a lot of them hardly being used. They're still in mint condition or hardly worn if, if anything which suggests to me these wasn't a very this this watch wasn't a very good seller and to be honest with you, I don't really see many of them for sale and when you do see them for sale they they're in pretty good nick still but this is how they would have turned up so comes in a little box like this the watch fits around here, a little release button here, slides out. Let's put it in here and I'll show you. And that's how it would have gone in here. And your booklet will go at the back there, just slot in. Stick it in here and I'll show you what it looks like. I do like um. Yeah, when you bought it brand new, this is how it would have come. Oh, really in there. Like that. And the booklets slides in here. And you've got a cover. Where's the cover gone? And it just goes on top here. And then that slots in the slight sleeve. Cool, isn't it? Even the boxes back then were kind of so much better, weren't they? Um, I do have a little plastic um, thing on my screen, which is this one here, and it protects it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it out for a bit. My, um, on my display cabinets, I like to chop and change stock sometimes and um sometimes i like to put them around here but this big 
wood thing I made really gets in the way. So I'll do put it up now and again. But I'm gonna put all the watches out again, make them all look nice. Um, right, what am I up to today? I'm gonna, I've got this watch here, is a film watch. I put a battery in it and it's not working. I have no idea why. So I'm gonna have a little sort out on that one. And don't forget, if you wanna buy one of these, just go on eBay. These are coming up to what, how old? Uh, so it's 1992, 2002, 22, so 20 something odd years old. But you know what? I've always seen these for sale and it never, I've just never liked them. I've just never looked at them. But I got one the other day in a bundle. I thought, my God, it's so nice. Even though I hate negative displays, but on this one, it really does suit it. I like it. It's staying. Um, what else have I got to show you? Nothing. Nothing for the moment. Um, let's have a look. Oh yeah. Um, no, no, I can't show you that. I've got another watch today in its packaging. I put a battery in, and the display is all gone weird. So um, things to sort out. Um, if you want me to do a review on this, Eddie Face. I showed you it the other day. I'll show you now. Um, I've not even looked at it properly yet. But I think I did put a battery in it. Did I? Yes. There's a second here. This is a stopwatch. You press the button to stop it. And to reset it, um, it just goes right around. If you want me to do a little review on that for a couple of minutes, I will. If you're interested, or if you like just digital stuff, I will. If I get enough comments, I'll do one in combination. Um, let me know what you think about this, guys. Um, this one here. Do you like it? Hit or a miss? I mean, part of a collection is amazing, but. Well, there's no buts really it's a nice watch i mean it, it goes well with uh with the other stuff there and um yeah i'm just trying to think what else i could do to show you probably nothing at the moment because i'm just sorting out also i put some new shelving up today um anyway that, that'll be it and um like and share and comment if anything you want me to talk about or if you want to know any more information and if you want me for any parts or advice or anything, you can always reach out on Instagram. It's old Casio collector, but instead of spaces, you put an underscore in each of the space. So it's old underscore Casio underscore collector. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. You take care.